it's definitely a departure from anything I've done thus far. I, I wasn't seeking it out because uh, nobody was coming to me <laughs> for roles like these. <laughs> I wanted to do something that was scary, that was uh, complex and ugly and beautiful. Um, and the script was all those things and more. I think ultimately this film is about a young girl's journey to try and realize her own truth and you know what happens when women's desires defy society's expectations started from a personal place um i had a similar relationship when i was a teenager with an older man and then after it ended i had felt a lot of guilt about it flash forward some years after i like tucked all of those feelings away. Um, and I was in Oklahoma doing research for a totally different project. And um, at a rodeo, met a group of women from a Christian fundamentalist community who were proselytizing. I was curious about them, maybe for this other project. And I spent some time with them and I went to their church and you know learned about their beliefs. And I was really struck by how much we had in common, actually, um, just in terms of like, attitudes towards our own sexuality and it brought me back to how I felt about my relationship when I was a teenager and it made me really reflect back on it in ways that I hadn't before just and I, I kind of realized the guilt that I had felt and I was like why did I feel guilty when he was the one that took advantage of me and it was this really very eye-opening experience and um, so I decided that I wanted to tell a story make a film looking back at my experiences and set it in this world it wasn't that hard to say yes. Um, it was a brilliant script and it's something that Laurel has been working on for a long time. So when I read it, it just felt complete. I don't know, I, I think Laurel has a very rare type of screenwriting where, I think you told me you have a rule where the action in her script can't exceed four lines. And I know some <laughs> screenwriters do not follow that rule, but I think it's, I don't know, it just made the story shine for me when I was reading it. It's a bit in Bananagrams. Yeah. Bananagrams. <laughs> was, a, was a clincher. Okay. Yeah. We played when we weren't shooting, when we were waiting for the, the rain and the electrical storms. We to had pass. a lot of lightning storms yeah. that would delay us. Yeah. I whipped out the Bananagrams and that's how we... We, yeah. well, we bombed it. One day you dropped it on the table and that was that. It's like, this is this, what are you guys going to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's that? There's a film that, I don't know oh, where a it, short film with like that dance oh. routine in it that we would, I was trying desperately to learn it and failing. And so Eliza and I would do that together. And I feel like both who Eliza is as a person, like oh, Eliza is so incredibly present that in some ways I feel like not only the preparation you do you know, for a job, but also just being able to fall into a scene with her and same for Jimmy. You know, there's just, I feel like you start to get that gauge as an actor as you go along and you do it for a while that you can kind of understand, like there's just, you feel an energy and you just think mm -hmm. I can jump into this fast mm -hmm. with these people and trust. Mm -hmm. We also, we did rehearsals too. Lewis oh, yeah. and Eliza came out a week mm -hmm. early. Um, and we rehearsed together and just like really went through the scenes and um, really played around like because we knew on the day like it was going to be really fast paced. It was, you know, a uh, tight schedule, so we wouldn't have been able to like try things out. So really like we gave ourselves the space in the rehearsal to just like play, try this thing, even if it's wrong. And I think that was a good way to like build trust too. Probably. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think we all kind of judge things that are, are different, especially when the structure is rigid and looks like it might be uncomfortable for those applying it. Um, uh, but uh, Laurel was, she, she was so prepared uh, to, to deliver this story with no judgment that mm -hmm. all of the information she provided, it, it did, it opened me up. I, I don't prescribe to it now, but you understand and then you, the judgment kind of uh, falls away. Oh,